fat phobia is so prevalent in the fitness industry. Just existing in a larger body and doing exercise is hard. And this makes no sense because if you're fat, you're told that you have to go to the gym and train and get healthy. And then as soon as you turn up to the gym, they body shame you, they laugh at you, they're mean about the movements that you're doing and they call you a whale. And this is not just something experienced by me. There are lots of other fitness influencers that experience this level of fat phobia. And specifically, Alicia spoke about this recently. It's either Alicia or Alicia, I don't know. <laughs> fat phobes will really be like, oh my God, you're so fat, you need to go to the gym. But then when you're there, be like, haha, look at the fatty in the gym. Pick a side. Am I fat and I need to be in the gym or do I look weird at the gym? Which one is it? She goes to the gym with her partner regularly, but she gets so many hate comments. Hers also mirror mine. Here are some of the comments that I've experienced recently just for showing up to the gym. I've also seen this on lots of other pages like the Fat Olympian, Coach Mary, Meg Boggs and Sarah Robles. Many of those are literal Olympic athletes. And the main reason for this is the fitness industry is a complete lie. It's totally obsessed with body image and it is nothing to do with fitness or health at all. Fitness culture is obsessed with bodies that look too people that are well below the body fat percentage that they're supposed to be for proper hormone health and normal body functions. They see people in fat bodies training and getting healthy and they still think there's something wrong because they haven't lost weight. Whereas this study that Ben Carpenter featured in his book shows that healthy habits actually have a higher impact on mortality rate than weight loss itself. So just going to the gym, no matter what size your body is, dramatically decreases your risk of death. But regardless of that, fat shaming doesn't work. By fat shaming somebody doing a sport that they love in the gym, you're only trying to encourage them to leave. And that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it often feels like we're supposed to just be invisible until we're in a leaner, more acceptable body. Fat phobia and fat shaming of larger bodied individuals in the fitness space will have a huge impact on people wanting to come to the gym. And there are many reasons to go to the gym that don't necessarily include weight loss. You can go to the gym just for your general physical health, to feel strong, to improve your mental health. There are so many other reasons and everybody deserves space there, no matter what their ability level or their body size. Recently I've noticed that people in larger bodies experience significantly more trolling than the general influencer. I've seen a few influencers get really upset over very mild comments in comparison to mine. And that's not to say that they shouldn't get upset. Trolling should not be happening and we should not be putting people through this. But I think the difference is when you're in a larger body, you're not just getting one or two hate comments, you're getting thousands. In one of my recent viral videos, I have over 10,000 comments and the majority of them are hate comments or body shaming me. And people will always say, just ignore them. But how easy would it be if you got 10,000 letters through your letterbox and you put them on a box and then tried to put them in a lot and just ignore them. How easy would it be to ignore them? You still know that they're there. It doesn't change that. You still know that there are loads of people out there saying horrible things about you. And if anything, for me, not looking at them would make that feel worse. I would blow them out of proportion and think they're way worse than they are. The majority of the time, these are just people that feel like I shouldn't be in the gym because I've got body fat and that I shouldn't be able to do the things that I can do because I'm frankly really fit and really strong and I'm a fucking athlete. And that pisses them off because they don't believe that someone that is my size can be as athletic as I am. They constantly find different things to convince them that I'm not as fit as I seem to be or not as strong as I seem to be. Like I always get the whole fake weights thing. <laughs> as if gyms go around carrying like fake weights just in case someone wants to pretend to lift. It makes no sense. 99% of the time the reason these people leave these horrible comments is because of how insecure they feel about their own bodies and they see someone like us living our lives, accepting our body and being happy in a body Body that they think that you shouldn't be able to be happy in. They don't see how anyone could be happy and be fat. And that's what truly angers them. It's more about them than it ever is about us. And body image issues are absolutely rife within the fitness industry. The mass body dysmorphia in the fitness space, especially among young men. And I truly believe this is where it stems from. But unless the fitness industry starts to change and recognizes that what they're encouraging at the moment is just an aesthetic and it's not actually fitness or health, then it's only gonna continue Continue to perpetuate these body image issues. It's fine to train for aesthetics, it's fine to want to lose weight, but it's not okay to pretend that those things are the whole picture of health and fitness. Fitness isn't a look, it can be tested, as can health. Fat phobia needs to stop because it's not helping anybody.
let's just start encouraging healthier habits and encouraging people of all body shapes and sizes to go to the gym and stop body shaming them. If you'd like to see how I train to be fit and healthy as a plus size athlete, then watch this video next. Thank you for watching guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye.